With just over three weeks to go until South Korea's presidential election, today marks the beginning of the campaigning period. Free from a number of legal constraints, candidates and their supporters can hold rallies using microphones and loudspeakers. Streets are already starting to be aligned with posters and banners. Campaigning ends the day before Election Day. A total of 14 candidates are on the ballot. And now with that, let's take a look at how the major candidates will be starting their campaigns. First, let's head over to the ruling Democratic Party's candidate, Lee Jae-myung, who's candidate number one. Do Yun, uh, where is the top first spot for E? Good morning, Mogyan. I'm at the national headquarters of the ruling Democratic Party. Candidate Lee Jae-myung is actually not here currently because he's down in the southeastern city of Daegu. He actually started his first official campaign at midnight and at a nearby port city of Busan's vessel traffic service, where a lot of ships leave Korea to export goods overseas. Now, this sends a message that he wants to become a president that will boost the economy. We picked the city of Busan, which will be the center of the southern capital, as the starting point to symbolize the growth of the economy for Koreans and that we expand to the rest of the world through the sea and become a global leader. Another significant aspect is that Busan is one of the country's most conservative areas. That being said, picking this city as his first stop of the official campaign shows his attempt to win the hearts of many voters in the area with the idea of unifying the country. Then Doyan, take us through the rest of his schedule for today. Mogyeon, he's having a busy day indeed. At 9 a.m., he was at Pujon Station in Busan, where he met and greeted a lot of people and held rallies. And then he started making his way up northward, taking the train to Daegu, a city in a region which he was born in. Now, he is expected to say that he will become the first liberal president from the area. Then he will go to Daejeon, a city with a lot of government offices and known for scientific research. He is expected to pledge to complete the development of the country, of the region as the country's administrative capital. Finally, he will end his day at the express bus terminal in Seoul's Seocheogu district at 7 p.m. The campaign team has said the location was chosen to once again reiterate his plans to develop the transportation infrastructure. In addition, they said it's a bus terminal with people both leave, leaving for and arriving from across the country, so once again signifying national unity. And that's all I have for now. Back to you, Mogyan.